Welcome back to the pirate ship. You are a pirate! I was gonna use that song, but uh, I decided I definitely didn't want copyright infringement. Yeah, that one they might maybe nail you for. Celebrate! What? Are, are you threatening me, good sir? Because <clears throat> uh, I, I think I have something to say about that. Captain Geist. Captain Geist. O okay. Captain Geist 1. I guess. Well, there's only one of them. I guess that's why all the enemies were called. All the skeletons were called Cyber Geist. Uh, yeah, I guess so. You can tell he's a pirate because he has a. Well, for starters, he has an anchor as a weapon. And Vanishing his, Buster Anchor! And he's got a hook hand. As most pirates do. The most piratey pirate thing to ever pirate. <laughs> uh, how stereotypical. I could go for, like, a good pirate game. I mean, Assassin's Creed 4 was pretty good in terms of piracy, but... Yeah, there really haven't been many games about pirates that I can think of. And certainly no really good ones. Pirates. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm looking for pirates. Must you? Yes. <laughs> okay. Some laugh and some may need an explanation. There is a porn film called Pirates. Uh, the highest budgeted porn film in history. Because it was, uh... The way they got the funding was to be like, yeah, it's totally gonna be like Pirates of the Caribbean. But Except porn. For <laughs> what was that? Nothing. So, yes. Alex and I and a few of our friends got together and watched this high-budget porn movie. And, um, <laughs> well, the acting was about as bad as you would expect. Some of it was actually good, except, like, the main character, like, literally could not say pirates normally. He had to put this weird emphasis on it every time. It's pronounced trope. So, like, every time he mentioned he was looking for pirates, it was always, I'm looking for pirates. Good times. Yeah, that's been a, a few days ago. I've slept a couple of times since then. <laughs> that was like... Fuck, when was that? Like 2000... Uh, six, six or seven. Yeah. Somewhere it's, in that area. It's been at least a decade. <laughs> Somewhere Holy in that shit. Area. So how do you guys decide what games to play? for fun, not for videos. Uh... Same way anybody does, really? Just, what the hell am I in the mood to play? Hmm. I am kind of in the mood to play an RPG. Or I'm kind of in the mood to play Mass Effect. Or I'm kind of in the mood to play Sonic the Hedgehog. That's what you do. I'm just like, well, I have these games to play. I'm going to roll on it to see which one I play. Or there's that. Well, honestly, for the last several months, I don't know, I want to say a year or so, uh, I, I have What's been... below this pop stand? Yes. Below this pop stand, wide open. Really? Yep. We have successfully busted ghosts. I'm sorry, Ray J. Parker. Ray Parker Jr. Whatever. It's a something strange! In the neighborhood. No, I'm not. I'm no, not we're not going to do that. No. We've gone far enough. Yes, we have. Anyway, I uh, I was going to say for the last several months, I have been working through the huge backlog of RPGs that Alex has bought me uh, for Christmas and birthday presents for... The last, like, three years? Three, four, five years. Something like that. He's basically bought me every Tales game from Vesperia onward, plus a couple. Except for Berseria. Except for Berseria, which... You have too many games for me to really justify buying it right now. 
Yes, but it needs to go on the list eventually, as I have Tales of Zesty Parmesan, therefore Bruceria would be the next in line. But you still have to finish Graces. I know. And then play Star Ocean 5 and... Uh... So really, I've, I've been selecting games to play out of a sense of obligation more than anything else recently. And because of how long they are, so... You know, you might as well just get the, get the heavy stuff out of the way first. It took me six months, I think, to finish Tales of Exilia. I still can't believe that's how you pronounce it. That's so dumb. I still can't believe you totally forgot that conversation we had about it. It's so dumb. Regardless. Like, why would you make it like a hard X sound? It's like Xavier. It's, it's, it's so dumb. You look at that word, you don't think Exilia. You would look at that word and think Zilia. So that was a short boat ride. Where did we get the boat, by the way? We, I We got it just now because we helped uh, Captain What's-His-Fuck do ah, with the ghost ship. Right, okay. That's not Captain What's-His-Fuck that tried to marry Cecilia, was it? Oh yeah, it's that guy. Yeah. So we're back in Adelheid Village. Yep. Which is funny, because I was absolutely certain this place got burned to the ground, but... Briefly. Briefly. <laughs> it got better. I had, to, I had to come back here, because this is where you get the hints for the next places to go. Ah, I see. This is the Vulcan Trap. Vulcanon Trap, I'm sorry. A Vulcanon Trap? Yep. And the Tri-Pillar and Giant's Cradle. Giant's Cradle. Well, the seals are broken. What are we actually attempting to do at this point? What is our ultimate objective? Um, to go to the Giant's Cradle? <laughs> to find something, I guess, to break through the barrier? I don't know, remember how this was established, but it was. Audiences at home cannot see the blank stare that I am leveling at Alex at this point. I shrug. I'm shrugging. I'm sure there was like somebody I talked to that would tell me this, but I forgot who it was. I just remembered I had to talk to people to tell me the next three dungeons I had to go to. Not necessarily why. Because we're RPG protagonists, and that is where the plot is directing us. Off we go, except I went in the wrong direction at first. As always. I mean, the actual literal wrong direction. I could not advance any further. Once in a while, we do encounter that, where you just hit an invisible wall because you were being a dummy. Or I was tired and I was playing a video game. Or that. But know this, you can't actually sail through, you know, shallow water on a galley, I guess this is? It looks like a galleon. So, three roads, cooperation and trust, will do something. Will bind us. Okay, so let's split up, gang. Oh, it's one of those dungeons. Jack first, because Jack's the best. I'm not going to argue with you on that point. God damn it. That was strangely romantic. I could not read it fast enough. It's like you're not going anywhere. Stay here with me. I just decided to see what everybody had to say to each other. Ah. I like how the game also puts a big fat lampshade on the fact that you can still use items despite not being together. <laughs> yes, save some for me. It just reminds me of uh, in Vesperia that it comes to light that uh, Carol and Rita are snacking on their recovery items. That's and what That's what happens when you make them taste like fruit. Yes, and Yuri is not entirely pleased at this revelation. <laughs> Hilariously, there's also a skit if you don't use any items at all. Yeah? 
where everybody gets pissed at Yuri for not using them. <laughs> uh, that game really is the best Tales game, I think. Yep. Sure, let's do it. Why the hell not? I mean, we're here. We might as well, right? Fight these four things. These four things that look like, um... Fuck you, get out of here. Well, that went quickly. No, they remind me of something, but I can't put my finger on it. They look like Pokemon. Yeah, but, I mean, we've seen that before. Also, this was before Pokemon, so, you know. Was it? Yes. When did Pokemon become a thing? It was like 99? I think so. This was 96? 96, 97. Okay, what else you got for me? Like, an actual fight? Something yeah. that I can't kill with one single attack? At this point, is there anything left in the game? Yes, actually. Yeah, okay. Well, I, I, yeah, okay, we are only like a quarter of the way through it, maybe a third. <laughs> but they were just like, yeah, we're gonna throw some normal ass enemies at you. For, and this will be your test. Makes me think of it, uh, Vesperia. <laughs> when there's some big dramatic plot battle and it winds up just being the usual mooks. Swordsmanship. That you can kill in like two attacks each. <laughs> Tweedle A and Tweedle B. Yes. What is a Tweedle anyway? No, I don't even think they've actually announced another Tales game since, uh. Well, Berseria just came out, dude. For us, it did. Well, yeah, but I, I wasn't expecting another announcement quite this quickly. I was expecting one for Japan at this point. I don't know. They do kind of crank those out. Yeah, but at this point, they kind of have to develop it for the PS4 solo. Mm -hmm. And the last one was still PS3, PS4. I believe Zesty Parmesan Chicken was PS3, PS4, and this area was PS4 exclusive. Maybe. I don't quite recall. Which I think that was probably one of Star Ocean 5's uh, failings is that it was PS3, PS4 in Japan. PS4 here. When it really should have just been a PS4 game. But much much like every, everywhere else in the world, people are slow to adopt new technology. Yeah, well... Japan especially. Magical flying rat. Home consoles are ever on the decline in Japan, except when they aren't, I guess? Apparently, yeah. Personally, I have always been an advocate of console gaming. Not that I don't like uh, PC gaming. In fact, I, I really enjoy PC gaming. I don't like sitting at my computer for long periods of time. Well, that's all I ever do in my free time, so I'm... I, I adapt to it. <laughs> but, yeah, I, I have many game consoles and I have a large Steam library. I feel a greater sense of obligation to play my physical media before my digital stuff. Granted, I share that sentiment. I have a... I, my backlog of Steam games is larger than my backlog of physical games, but... I feel the weight of the physical games more than the Steam library because, well, they're physical games. They actually have weight. Well, that you keep fucking buying Steam games, so there's that too. Yes, because Steam sales. <laughs> At this point, I'm like, I don't. Ha I didn't actually participate in the last couple Steam sales. It's just like I have everything I want. Yeah, neither did I, honestly. Um, I haven't bought a game on Steam since. Um, Half Genie Hero. Yeah, I think that was the last one I actually purchased. I purchased that for the PS4 because I got a fancy uh, soundtrack with it too. Neat. I still need to uh, record uh, 
Pirate's Curse. I was um, attempting to do so yesterday, in fact, but every time I tried to run the capture software, it crashed Windows on my laptop, which is what I was planning to use to record. I think it'll still work on my PC. Um, You'll just have to uh, move your Wii U in there. Yes. Which we means maybe that TV will finally no longer be on the kitchen table or dining room table. Well, I don't need the TV for the Wii U, honestly. I can just use the gamepad, which is the nice thing about it. I suppose this is true. So yeah, um, Pirate's Curse, but, sometime in the near-ish future. But then how are you going to look at the map? Pause the, the game. The, the vaguely helpful map. I'm sorry, Matt Bozon, but you guys gotta fucking do something about, like, actually having maps in those games. Yeah, that's kind of a thing. Also, next time on Radical Bromance, I forgot that this video kind of ends abruptly. Ah, well, okay, video over.